What's going on guys and welcome back. We are in episode 3 of Red Dead Redemption our new series. Well that's not the name of the series, it's really not a name of the series, to be honest. More like just, you know, play through. Anyways, this is episode 3. Today we're in Armadillo, we decided to stop fucking with Bonnie for a little bit. And we are going to... Man, I kinda wanna play some fire for you. Tell you what. Anyways. We're gonna be doing some Marshall Johnson missions right now. Try to try to get ourselves a little bit more action in this episode. The other ones weren't really that action packed. See you guys in a bit. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? <clears throat> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Okay, Come on, okay. Man, let's try to get it. I did to the action. 
think this is where it's gonna be going. I've been waiting to shoot. Who are we for? Now, that's uh, the question I, the thing Wait, I'm wrestling with. Like is this. Goddamn road Do I want to be a bad guy or a town. good guy? In this? If you are, you know, there's an honor system. The People can either know you as like, they like the more your fame, the happier. No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent The more, uh, that's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Yeah, these weird ass like, uh, situations. I think I was walking too far away from the you guys to hear the dialogue. My bad. But I was talking. He's a dumb rat bastard now. Let's Anyways, let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen us. Come on, don't lose him. Can't lose that. Come on, Black Betty. Catch up with me when you can. Well, they don't want me to kill him. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef it? I got my rope yet? I don't got my rope yet. How am I not supposed to do it? Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. That lawn's easy money for easy work. Shoulder Spring, Gap Tooth Bridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come on. Yeah, if you're not like right there, it's good. Hey. Ooh. Hold up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Come on. Damn, it's stuck. You gotta stay right next to him. I think that the marshal looks so cool with that like vest. Looks like we got And they saw us. Arston, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. Oh shit, the rock. There's one behind the crate. Take it down. Whoa! Oh. 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 Too many of them. Oh, what's up? In the face. Oh. I'm going to miss that. Yeah. You can still run away. Shot, Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marson. He says I'm not a bad shot, and I feel like I am the only person that shot people. Like, I don't even feel like he shot people. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello! It's a new line. Hello! Hello! Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. 
We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. <laughs> Damn. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Are we just getting all the action in this game? Where is he? Let's go. How long have you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Weaveson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Hammer down, Jonah. <laughs> Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's Damn, this boy. dude's just trying Otherwise, to talk about shit. I'll put a hole I should probably in your just shoot. Head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Okay. Let's proceed on foot from here. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. I hope they finally give me a shotgun to get this mission. Be ready, boys. <clears throat> Probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. I vote smoke them. I think that's the less honorable thing to do, but I don't know how you're, you saw you guys saw me try to punch him punch that dude out in the last mission, and they made me shoot. Him. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Man. Oh! Oh! Taking off the bullet. There we go. Now we're talking. Down you go. Okay, boys, you head down that left board. I'll take the right. Marston, you come with me or go with them. Let's move up, boy. That was some pretty damn good shooting, John. Yep. Maybe you ain't the ten foot I thought you was. Coming from you, friend, that's a real compliment. I remember playing a game before I played this game back when I was younger called Gun. And I think that's what really made me enjoy this game. This game was just like, it was literally just like Red Dead. It really was. And then, um, and, uh, it was just, when Red Dead came out, when I started playing Red Dead, it was just better. It was just, everything was better. And I think, 
It was also around the same time. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But it was also around the same time that I was playing Black Ops 2, and this game used to always have a uh, triple XP weekend in the multiplayer. And I think the idea of a triple XP weekend just sounded better to me. And I think that was also what kind of the deal was. Are you kidding me? Are they on the bridge here? Or do we have to go up this side and get? Gotta go all the way back here. Yo, low key, think I just got shot in here. So. Without out the revolver on him because we got more ammo. Oh, is this chest able to be open? Yeah. Well, we might not do it in this episode, but we will successfully rob the Armadillo yeah, Bank. Yeah, a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why'd a man break his back working 12 hours a day? Those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep. It's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps showing about. Come on, up the hill. Let's blaze our way to that bridge. Hey, little assistance would be nice, Marshal. Those slot rustlers like flies. Got him in the shoulder. I like how when you shoot them in a certain part of their body, like, they, they actually, like, flinch. Like, if you shoot them in the shoulder, they, like, they, they, they get, like, the shoulder flies backwards a little bit. Like, I think that's such a cool idea, but Rockstar's always had great ragdoll effects. We should cross the pass with the marshal up here. He's giving a bell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. He'd tell you he's all about the book. Let the judge decide a man's fate. But he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. More rustlers! Take them down! You might as well give it up now! I've got my shooting in charge! Wow! Where are you at, Billy Bob? Oh, he's dead. Uh. Oh man, I forgot how much fun using Dead Eye was. Max Payne was real fun. Oh, dude, <laughs> hurry up! Stay with him. Oh, he's just gonna keep falling off the mountain. Okay. Yo, you got shot in the ass, dog. You good? <laughs> you need to take a break, man. We'll just finish this out for you. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Yeah, as close as we can before opening fire. Ha! Shot you in the grill, homie. Yay, you know I want to do this. Ow, ow. Come on, fellas! Got it. They try to shoot straight! I can't believe I just missed three of those bullets. Shoot him in the head! I 
think I shot him and he like fell behind the thing. Oh. That's all of them. Uh, Find you, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Untying the hostages. Let me loot these guys for money. It was only one guy. Thanks, Marshal. Oh, two. We're indebted okay. to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. No problem. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. And there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.